Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I am super excited because today I am adding a dinosaur to my Lego collection. I don't have any. And you know what? I think every collection needs a dinosaur. And this one's got the biggest one of them all, the T-Rex in it. So we're gonna build the set and then we're gonna turn the dinosaur into a pet because we all know how well that will turn out. So let's see who we've got in this set. We've got we have got, let's see, uh, we've got a scared face and a an investigative, an investigative face. And we'll put the scared face on because she's going to be really concerned about what she's about to see, which is the triplets running wildly through our building area where there's about to be an enormous dinosaur. What are they even doing here? Well, apparently Sophie and Henry are out here observing the dinosaurs in their natural habitat. Well, that seems safe for small children. Let's build the dinosaur. This is so cool. In fact, Violet is straight in here. I like her hat. Uh, okay, let's put our dinosaur together. Now, apparently you can mix and match the limbs on these dinosaurs. And I just, I, I think I'm really going to want to get more than just one. Look at this T-Rex's cool face with the big chompy teeth and the chompy jaws. And the boys are right in on this. They are fascinated by the fact that this is chomping right in their faces. Hmm. Might want to hop out of the way because uh, Mrs. T-Rex, I'm saying that she's a missus because, well, you'll see later on, I think she's gonna be very protective of particular things, but look at the teeny tiny T-Rex arms. So little, she can't scratch her head. That's so sad. So we might get Violet to do that for her soon. And I'm sure she'll be very appreciative. We all need somebody to scratch her heads. If we've got teeny tiny T-Rex arms, that's a lot of T's. Now we've got some big legs on here and she is looking superb. Let's put the other one on obviously the other side, otherwise she would look really weird. Oh, and we have got the most spectacular Tyrannosaurus Rex ever. And we can angle her so many different ways. Look, see, Violet can sit up here and scratch her head when it's itchy and the boys are gonna be up here on her back. This is not a fairground ride. A dinosaur is not a fairground ride. Hmm, well, these triplets have no fear, obviously. Look at those teeny tiny arms and there's really big claws and hold on her legs aren't holding her oh I haven't clicked them in properly well that would help beautiful beautiful t-rex now let's see what our first part of the actual building part of this is and we've got something blue obviously and a place to put an egg oh this is so so they can carry the egg around do you think that's your egg mrs t-rex it's so tiny I think it's way too small to be your egg, but I think it's supposed to be, but it's so small. Now we have got a vehicle and cause this is a junior set, we have got a lot of this pre-made for us. We've got a nice big chassis here of the vehicle all ready to go. So we don't need to build that part, which is cool. Cause the quicker we build it, the quicker we can play with it. And, oh, let's see if I can fit one of the triplets in this seat. Oh, look at that, Harry fits. <laughs> okay, this is so much fun and these triplets are, they obviously are very accustomed to dinosaurs and uh, what am I even saying? Nobody's accustomed to dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are dangerous but they're very cool and this one is obviously not eating them at the moment so that's very good. Okay, uh, cool cool printed stickers on here that have uh, seen a bit of wear and tear out in in Jurassic World already and Alex is going to have a bit of a ride in the back which is what it's not designed for I'm sure and now there is <laughs> a door to stop him from just sliding out <laughs> okay some pieces here on the front nice printed headlights on there and all we need is a windscreen and this little vehicle is ready to drive under the tip that was a really bad idea Harry holy crap Rikies. Now you've made her cranky. I'm sure you'll be perfectly safe in that open topped vehicle while we build whatever is in bag number two. Oh, we got another minifigure. And this is, looks like, oh, a very, very scared, uh, yeah, let, let's leave that face on. Very, very scared guard. Actually, he's only got the one face. He's seeing what's going on back here sees that these boys are in peril and he's got the tranquilizer gun ready and he sedated the T-Rex so that she can have a nice little sleep. Is she sleeping yet? There we go. Oh, or oh, maybe this way. <laughs> oh, oh, I have a joke for you. What do you call a sleeping T-Rex? Let's put it down like this. It's a dinosaur. She looks really kind of uncomfortable like that. But when she wakes up again, she will be just her most gentle self. So we'll put the tranquilizer gun away and we'll start building the next part, which has got a wonderfully 
reformed base here. We've got a ramp up onto it and nice shades of brown and green. And it's a bit muddy there on the ramp because we're going into, oh, there's a red button. I like touching red buttons. We are going into these big doors that are surrounded by jungly vines that look like we probably shouldn't be going into them, but we're going to anyway. And there's a plank of wood here nailed over the front, which we can break through so we can get in. <laughs> Nothing says open me like a plank of wood nailed across a big door. So let's drive in. You can't drive in because the doors open the other way. Well, that's a bit silly. <laughs> we'll fix that. There we go. Now they are trapped in there and you've left, you've left Violet outside. What sort of brothers are you? Well, she'll have to find another way in. So let's see what we're building on the top here. There's a ladder going up to the top. You'll be safe up here. It'd be safe anyway. The dinosaur's sleeping. It's a dinosaur. I'm totally gonna overuse that joke because I think it's hilarious. Okay, we've got a nice big printed piece there that says Jurassic World. So that is where we are entering. Oh, this is getting exciting. We got some greenery up here and kind of prehistoric -y, stony look and some torches on either side, which are totally blowing in opposite directions, which isn't possible, but it looks pretty spectacular. <laughs> it looks better like that, but, but they, they wouldn't actually do that. And we've got a bendy bit with a hot dog on the end of it. <laughs> Is this to like entice the boys out from inside? Here boys, there's, oh, hold on. No, it's not, okay. It's, it's, it's for, for Mrs. T-Rex, who apparently will be totally placated by hot dogs. She thinks it's to lore, so tasty, so tasty. Right, you know what? I think she was just hangry before. So now that she has had a hot dog, she's everybody's friend again. <laughs> I know that works with me. <laughs> okay, we're up to bag number three. Oh, and it's got another minifigure in it. So there's one minifigure in each bag and there's his happy face. He's a scientist, so he's totally gonna be happy all the time. Look, he's got test tubes in his pockets. Of course, he's a happy little fellow uh, and he's carrying a, a stalk. A brown stalk, which looks really appetizing, uh, but not for Mrs. T-Rex. She, she's eaten a hot dog, so she's not interested in the brown stalk at all. Let's build the next part, which uh, I have no idea what it is. So <laughs> let's build a little bit more and then I might have more of an idea. Oh, it connects on here. Well, that's cool. I still don't know what it is. More plants. Love the jungle plants very, very much. We'll move Claire over and Oh, more torches here once again blowing in opposite directions and some fencing some fencing supposedly to keep the t-rex in or out i don't know does this mean that the fence is electrified i think it does okay so no touching that fence and definitely don't lick it okay next part we've got a printed board here which shows the location of some more dinosaur eggs and Harry's very excited about that or he's just excited that he can see through it and inside this room we've got some little blue boxes <laughs> Harry's really excitable <laughs> and a nice big crate behind him so this looks like it might be the science lab or I don't know whether it's a storage area or just their general gathering room. There's a red siren-y thing up there for alarms. And some oh, walkie-talkies for communicating when you're out and about. And it's an incubator. Okay, so they're incubators and here's one of the baby dinosaurs that's already hatched. I wonder if this is Mrs. T-Rex's baby. It's so tiny. How could you possibly grow from that into a really big T-Rex? I don't know. I just don't know. And it looks like the boys have taken the walkie talkies and they have run off with them. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> the scientist is off to try and retrieve the walkie talkies, but there is a game of hide and seek going on now. So nobody's going to stop them. We've actually finished the build. Okay. This is, this is obviously quite a slippery spot, but it was a good vantage point. Mrs. T-Rex is fascinated by this walkie talkie. In fact, she is not interested in helping Alex at all. She has taken the walkie talkie and now she's going off to play hide and seek with Harry. Uh, yeah, you better turn around there, Harry. Ah, it's a dinosaur. You just gave her a kiss and now you, you jumped down over her back. Oh well, she's off to go and hide again. Well, it looks like the Darlingtons have procured themselves a new pet, a massive dinosaur. So, 
If you would like to see more dinosaurs being built, make sure you tell me in the comments, make sure you subscribe, click the like button, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you with a new one really soon. Bye!